you've heard the story of Newton and the falling apple. And sometimes it's easy to dismiss this story as being a very common story about a force that we experience every day. So what's the big deal? It's gravity. In fact, what Newton explained with his insights into gravity was truly mind-blowing at the time. It was a radically new way of thinking about the universe, suggesting that everything that exists is ruled by a fundamental set of laws. And what was so utterly amazing was that Newton suggested that the same force that caused that apple to fall to the ground also controlled how the earth rotated around the sun. The same force that kept the water in our oceans kept the moon orbiting around the earth. The same force that caused a rock to roll down a hill controls the paths of asteroids in outer space. At a time when the information about space, and even how objects moved on the Earth, were just evolving, it was a pretty mind-blowing suggestion. Not only did Newton explain an interconnectedness of a universe full of forces, but he also derived a way to calculate the magnitude of these forces. His famous equation for calculating the force of gravity was... Fg for the force of gravity equals g m1 m2 those are the two masses involved over r squared the distance between the center of masses and it explained that the force of gravity impacted all masses two people standing in a room have a force of gravity pulling them together you and the tree outside also have a force of gravity pulling you together that tree and the building next to it, they have a force of gravity pulling them together. Any two things with mass have a gravitational force pulling them together. Now, that may seem odd, because you don't often notice these gravitational forces. Gravitational forces are relatively small forces. That constant g in our equation is only... That's a very small number. Therefore, it takes very large mass or masses before the force of gravity even becomes noticeable. For example, the gravitational force between two people standing even close together is not detectable without very expensive equipment. But on the other hand, if one of those masses was the sun, and the other was the Earth, then the gravitational force is huge, big enough to keep the Earth curving around the Sun and not flying off into space. So, with a large mass involved, gravity does become noticeable. Even if one of the masses is huge. For example, if one of the masses was the Earth, then the other mass could be the apple. The force would be enough to pull the apple towards the earth, and vice versa. We would say it would cause the apple to fall down towards the center of the earth. In fact, the earth as one of the masses is the form of gravitational force that we most often think about. Every time you jump, it's the force of gravity between you and the earth that returns you to the Earth's surface. Every time you throw a ball, it's the force of gravity between that ball and the Earth that returns it back to the ground. And every time you pour a glass of water, it's the force of gravity between the Earth and the molecules of water that cause it to enter and remain in your glass. Gravitational forces are certainly a central part of your earthly existence. Thus, it's a good thing to better understand.